Hey Finsters, so real quick, how to find the maximum of a list of lists in Python. Okay, so um, let's, have a, let's have a quick example. So you have this list of lists, uh, it's a nested list. So each element of the outer list is a list by itself. Okay, we call, the, we call, we call it an inner list. Okay, so we have a, an outer list of inner lists. And so each list element is a list by itself. And now we want to find a maximum. But what, what does it mean, a maximum for a, for a list of lists? This doesn't... Uh, makes sense to many uh, people just starting out. I mean, we can, for example, we can compare um, these two lists by using the first element of the list. And then, of course, this one would be the maximum because the element one is larger than element zero. Okay, and then we have the third list and this has an even larger first element. Okay, so in this case, like the maximum, if you use the first element as the uh, basis for comparison, then this last list, three, three minus one would be the maximum among those lists. But if you use the last element, of these lists of lists, then suddenly this first list will become the maximum. Okay, and if you if you use like if you use a sum function, for example, to like we sum over all elements of the inner lists and use this as a basis of comparison to find the maximum of this uh, list of lists, then suddenly this one again will be the maximum. Okay, if you if you used like um, the <laughs> I mean, and I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but you can also use the minimum of an inner list to find the maximum to define the maximum of the of all the list and so on. Okay, so you can you can do different things, and it's not it's not immediately clear how. So what is the maximum of a list of lists? And so, of course, it makes sense that you have you want to define it uh, by yourself. I mean, you should you are the co programmer. You know best what should be the maximum. Um, and what should be the minimum of your list of lists and just relying on the default behavior doesn't mean that that you that you just uh, that you basically you hope for the best and hope is always a bad strategy for coders okay so how do how do you do this how calculate how do you modify or customize the default uh, behavior the default maximum say we want to find the maximum using the first element then in this case we we um we, we use the built-in max function. You see, uh, if you use an editor with code highlighting, that the max um, keyword is already um, predefined in Python, okay? So it's like a built-in function. Python already knows it. You don't have to import any library or so. It comes, it ships with default Python. And, the, and now you pass an iterable as the first argument to the max function. The iterable can be a list. It also can be any other um, object over which you can iterate. Okay, so you can get some elements from this object and like the next element, next, next, next. So you can perform some operations for each element in the list uh, or in the data structure. Okay, and now the magic comes with a key function. And this, many coders really don't understand or nail it down, really don't understand um, uh, enough the, uh, the power of the key function because it's not only important for the max function, it's of course it's also important for the min function. For the app, for like average function, it's, it's important for even sorting. I mean, you can sort and you can define your own key function. So the key function is really critical to understand many of these built-in Python methods. And I think it will make you a better coder just by uh, un really understanding it, what is the purpose of the key function. So the key function, it's a function, okay? So you could also define the function outside of, um, of, of, uh, of this function called max, okay? So you can define on the outside and you can just pass any function here. But you can also define your own function. You, for example, you can use a lambda keyword to define an anonymous function. And now this function takes one argument, call it x, and this is a list element. And now it maps this list element to a value. To a, so it associates to each list element a value that, that is kind of the weight of this list element. And this weight is used as a basis for comparison. For example, if you have sorting, then you define your key um, argument and then now now this uh, your key function and now this associated weight will be used as a basis for comparison so it will sort after this weight or if you use the max function then of course this this, uh, this value that you associate to each list element will be used as a basis of comparison okay and you can basically you can do any complicated stuff here but you can also do simple stuff like now we know each list element yeah each element that we pass here is a list by itself. And now if you want to sort after the first element of the list, then of course we just use, um, we just use indexing, simple indexing to, uh, to return the first element. Okay, so we put in this whole list, we return the first element. And this is used as a basis for comparison. And um, uh, yeah, okay, and this whole thing after like, 
this this is called a lambda function. We have like before the colon we define the inputs, the arguments. After the colon we define the outputs, uh, the return value. Okay, and that's it already. Uh, so it's so it's quite easy to understand. And if you execute this code, you get the maximum is three, three minus one. So if you use the first element as the basis of comparison, then of course it will be. Uh, so we use this uh, element, the integer three, and this is the maximum element, the maximum among the first elements. So this this final list becomes um, the return value of the max function. And you see that even I mean we used only the first element as the basis for comparison because we returned this by our key function. So this this one, so we returned the first element, but we don't like the max function. It still finds the maximum among the values in your iterable and the values in your iterable these are lists so it returns an inner list it doesn't return like the value three it, uh, it doesn't return the value returned by the key function it returns the value um, that has the large that ha has the largest weight returned by the key function so this is how you can express it uh, precisely more precisely okay so uh, this way you can you can for example return the first um, so you can use the maximum according to the first value. You can also return the maximum according to the third value, yeah? Just by putting a two here, which is the third value in the in your inner list. So then what would be the maximum if you use the third value as a basis of comparison? Just think for a moment, take your guess. It will be the first element, yeah? We use the third value, so this is, so the first, the first list element has associated the key one. Here we have the key weight zero and the key weight minus one. So now, now basically the the list one 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 will be the maximum among those lists. Okay, and you can also do other stuff. You can sum over all elements and use the sum of all the inner lists. You can use the sum of all inner lists as a basis for comparison to determine the maximum. Okay, for example, here now you sum over all lists, and now you see the sum function is already built in, so it is highlighted in blue, and we can use we can use it as an input to our key function. Okay, now now our key function is simply the sum function, and what does it mean? Yeah, so the sum function takes one argument, a list for example, and it returns one value. So it's just the sum of all elements in in the uh, in the iterable passed as an argument to the sum function. So this, of course, the sum function can serve as a key function as well. You can put any any function with this basic mapping from one input to one output, to one numerical output, then you can use any uh, any function here. So you can use the sum function. You can even, you can also use the max function or you can use the min function here. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Now this will take the maximum value of each inner list which is here one, the maximum element here, this two, and here this three. So in this case here, uh, the, re the result will be this whole list and so on, okay? So you can do all this customization. If you execute this, you get different values, different outputs for different inputs, okay? Th but it makes, makes perfectly perfect sense. Um, okay, so this is this is basically it. So very quickly, uh, you to summarize it, you can, you can use the max function and the min function and also like the sort function, with an iterable as the first um, argument and the key function as the second argument. And the key function defines your custom weight you associate to each element in your iterable. And this is really important. It's really basic stuff also, but it's also important that you understand it properly so that you can customize the behavior of your default Python routines. Okay, if you like this video, then give it a like. And um, if you want to hear more about how to use like all these theoretical things, how to use all these small code snippets and your code understanding in practice, how you can earn some money, then check out my free webinar where I show you exactly how you can um, earn a full-time living from home as a Python developer, Python freelance developer, I should say. Okay, thanks for listening and uh, check out the free webinar in the description below and see you in the next video. Bye.